Hi everyone, so today I'm going to do the August edition of Glossy Box. So the box arrived yesterday, I'll go into it at the end of the video of what I really think of it, but the outer box kind of give you a different type of feel, it was like black um, and not their usual kind of a grey tone with the little logos all over it or anything. So that being said, when I opened up the outer box and saw this one, I got kind of even more excited because it's like, I know it sounds stupid, but it's like square and I thought, okay, there's something special going on here. So when I opened it up, that's when I saw that, okay, there's a card that's a bit different. It's like folded and stuff. And then when I lifted that up without moving the camera, that's when I saw that it said three on it. So I was thinking, okay, I'm sure, and I still feel this way, that I thought Glossy Box started in May because I missed out on the May version when they first started three years ago and I ended up with the June version and I was gutted because May had a full-size NARS Laguna like liquid bronzing thing so I don't know, I don't know but because it was a birthday box to some, some extent I was thinking it was going to be amazing so this box looking kind of empty worried me a little and if I open it up, you'll see what I got. So, there is the contents, and I will start off with the first one. The first one is a Glossy Box own product, or at least it was made specifically for them. It's by a brand called uh, Cryolan. No idea. But it's the Highlighter Cashmere. It says it's versatile, lightweight, uh, with a gloss finish. It's for cheekbones, lips, other parts of the skin with a beautiful velvety shine so this says it's a full-size product which is £12.95 honestly I never pay any attention to the price of glossy box or any other brand's own products because clearly it wouldn't take anything like this to make and it feels kind of cheap as well now Cryolan I'm sure maybe one of you may know um, it seems that when Glossy Box do do their own products, they tend to really get in a good brand. So in all fairness, it tends to be fairly decent, but there's no way that that would have cost anywhere near that to produce. So I don't really take the price of that into consideration. The next one is by Figs and Rouge. This is a hand cream. It says that it's got sheer butter, natural antioxidants. It's kind of beautifully fragrant and indulgent, blah, blah, blah. 80 mils so I believe that this is full price don't think I could see on it at full size you knew what I meant no idea oh 20 mils okay so it's only a diddy one and the full size which is 80 mils is £6.95 so obviously that is only a couple of pounds worth of product but it's good enough to try in all fairness the next one is by Yves Rocher I've seen this um, brand before because I really like one of the lipsticks I got in one of the previous beauty boxes I really really love that lipstick so it's a bit of a shame it's a polish because I certainly don't need any more it actually says though on this card that it's a birthday bonus so bear that in mind anyway but it says it's a mini polish for maximum colour and um, usual kind of spiel about the colours and stuff three mils is all is in here and it was full size at £3.60 so it's fairly pricey for such a small polish part I struggled with that word the next one is something I've got quite a few of because of the different beauty boxes it is a good product it's the Philip Kingsley elasticizer and it says that it was originally created for Audrey Hepburn talk about name drop um, but it was <laughs> it was originally created for Audrey Hepburn and it was a pre-shampoo treatment that delivers unrivaled elasticity, manageability, bounce and shine without weighing it down or coating it. So I've already tried this. I know what it's like. Full size is 250 mils. That's £38. And this is 40 mils. So I think I got a good few uses out of that size though. So that is good. It's just a fact that I've seen it before. The next one is this perfume sample. You can see there it is in there. So it's a little spray bottle, which I do like, but I mean, you can get these anywhere. So it's by that brand, Le Lac. I don't know, I assume. But it says that it's a soft and sensual fragrance with a delicate top notes of rosebuds uh, laced with fresh um, bergamot and white floral hearts. Tell you what, I haven't smelt this yet. Let me just smell that. Bear with me, talk amongst yourselves. Ooh, if I can even try it. Oh. Oh. 
okay it's nice the reason why i'm saying oh is because it's not a spray bottle it's it's got a little lid on it and it's all over my nose now <laughs> but yeah i mean it's very very floral if you don't like floral then you really aren't gonna like that but um it might be suitable for an old no offense it might be suitable for an older age group i wouldn't say like a teenager that would be suitable for typically anyway now the last thing is just gonna make it made me laugh anyway so when i opened the box i was like no way a mac lip lipstick obviously i was having a laugh with myself this is not a mac lipstick but when i saw it there you know can you understand that or is it just me i don't know but um, it's the Essence Long Lasting Lipstick and it says that it provides your lips with intensive colour for several hours without drying them out. It's available in bright pink, but it's available in bright pink, vibrant red, chilled out berry and subtle nude shades. Ooh, which one have I got? Natural Beauty number seven. Let's have a look at it. So full size obviously is what it is and it's £2.29 so it's definitely a budget product that's the color of it i'm not going to swatch it because you can kind of gather what color it'll be anyway so that's that and 2.29 if it's a good product then you know you can't really go by the price really so that is the overall box i do hope that you've enjoyed watching the video my overall thought i don't know if you've gathered this by all the things that i've said but my overall thought is that for a birthday box this is really disappointing the sample of the perfume, as I say, you could get elsewhere. Um, the Glossy Box own product, as I say, in fairness, sometimes they turn out to be fabulous. Like the blush that they had. I'm trying to think. I might have it here. Um, yeah. Oh, look at that. The blush that they did a while ago. That is really fantastic. Actually, who was that made by? Okay, that was made by the same company. And someone told me that that is a... Uh, uh, like a makeup artist company so like a stage makeup thing so in fairness it should be fantastic quality but as i say just the fact that it's glossy boxes own i take that with a pinch of salt the price wise the phillips kingsley elasticizer it's a shame that i've now got a th um another one of them i've now got three in total um but you know the nail polish, some people will like that. I don't know if it's a colour for everyone, so that's another thought. The hand cream will be used and the lipstick was very, very kind of an inexpensive one. So overall, the box isn't really worth very much and I will use the products, but I can't say that I'm amazingly excited with them either. So let me know what you think. As usual, li uh, links to Twitter, Instagram, blog, uh, Facebook, they're all in the description bar. Please do come follow me. I love speaking to you on there and thank you so much for watching.